Okay, this one here is definitely um, kind of unusual. It looks, it just looks kind of like a normal rock on this side. Do you see some quartz protruding from there? And some quartz right there. And then I was trying to look for faces on it. And again, I get some kind of an eye here, a nose and then a mouth down here. That could be some sort of a, a fish because it's a lot of times they shape them the same way. They shape a big head here and it tapers down to a small end here. Like this one here, it had, it had the small end on it that made it look like it was a fish, like there's the small tail in there. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what it is. But I'm looking around on it. I, I kind of don't really see any faces. I mean, I, there may be some on there, some human looking faces. But when you turn it over, you get this big slab of crystal or a quartz right here. And then a bunch of individually looking type crystals, dirty, and that dirt could be just dirty could be dirt just that's embedded inside there because it was very dirty when I picked it up but this slab of, of quartz right here is, is kind of cool um I mean I, I really don't see any faces unless they will consider this a face and that a nose and that a mouth I don't know there could be on here there could be faces on here and I'm just not seeing them but yeah this and then it's got a really sharp cutting edge right here this is really sharp so this was, this was definitely a tool It was used for cutting. I don't believe it was dirty like this at the time that they had it. I, th I think this is just from being weathered and, and it changed color and it's got dirt embedded in there and it turned into concrete. I mean, I, that, that's kind of what I see, but that definitely, definitely was an Indian tool of some kind. Thank you.